Hello everyone! Have you ever noticed that some actors that were incredibly popular until very recently have disappeared from the screens for some reason? They used to star in movies and TV shows, but then just disappeared. There are many actors and actresses in Hollywood today, so it's not so easy to notice that someone has quit acting. However, there are many examples. So, who are these stars that change the sets and the fans' love for other things? Let's find out. Let's get it on. Jaden Smith The children of some actors follow in their parents' path. For example, Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, appeared on the screen for the first time in the comedy series All of Us, written by his father. But the first serious project was The Pursuit of Happiness. The film is based on the memoirs of Chris Gardner, who went from being a poor trader to a successful stockbroker. The leading role was performed by Will Smith, while Jaden played his son. After that, he starred in Karate Kid and made another collaboration with his father after Earth. But then Jaden's acting career stopped, at least for now. Instead, Smith Jr. decided to focus on music. After two mixtapes in 2017, Smith released his first album, on which he worked for three years. The album's success established Jaden's status as a promising rapper and musician, at least according to the media. On July 5, 2019, Smith released his second studio album and seems to be enjoying music. However, he didn't completely abandon cinema. In 2018, he starred in the movie Skate Kitchen, an American drama for teenagers. The the film got very positive reviews, so if you want to see Jaden Smith in action, you have a great opportunity. Jack Gleason Maybe that name doesn't mean anything to you, but have you heard of Joffrey Baratheon? Ah, now you know. Before Game of Thrones, Gleason played a number of small roles, but it was the HBO series that made him a star, popular and hated at the same time. Joffrey turned out to be such a great villain that the actor even started getting threats. He had to hire a bodyguard so that some excessively emotional fans of the series wouldn't punch the king in the face. And when you're so good at being a villain, everyone expects your acting career to be brilliant. But Gleason decided otherwise and revealed that he knows no longer wants to act. I've been acting since age eight, the actor said in an interview. I just stopped enjoying it as much as I used to. As you can see, working on camera doesn't bring him joy, and if something doesn't make you happy, then why do it, especially if you have other interests? Gleason attended Trinity College in Dublin from 2010 to 2015, where he studied philosophy and theology. He's also founder, producer, and member of the Dublin-based theatre company Collapsing Horse. Skandar Keynes if you've seen at least one of the Chronicles of Narnia movies, you must remember Skandar Keynes, the British boy with dark hair and eyes who played Edmund Pavenzi. Although Edmund was his first major role, Skandar did a great job. Nevertheless, he did face some difficulties. For example, during the shooting of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Skandar's voice began to break. As a result, the director had to ask the actor's older sister, Sumaya, to record some of his lines. You can't leave these people behind to suffer for it. Keynes always assumed the job with maximum responsibility, despite his young age. On the set of Prince Caspian, he hurt his leg during a stunt with a horse, but in the same scene, he had to run. He did it after taking some painkillers and was very worried that someone might notice. In preparation for the voyage of the Dawn Treader, Keynes took lessons to obtain a license from the Professional Association of Driving Instructors. Yes, that's how serious he was. But even though all three films were quite successful, he decided he didn't want to pursue a career in film. But why not? He seems to have realized that he liked other things more. In 2014, Keynes lent his voice to the project In Freedom's Cause, and that was the official end of his acting career. In 2016, Skandar announced he was no longer going to perform. He's now a political advisor to Crispin Blunt, a member of Parliament, and wants to devote himself to politics. Frankie Muniz Today, the name Frankie Muniz may seem unfamiliar to you, but at the beginning of the 2000s, he was a star. He made a name for himself with the series Malcolm in the Middle, and later with a couple of comedies, including Agent Cody Banks. By the way, the first movie was released in March 2003 and got $47 million. The sequel, which was released a year later, made $28 million. This was the moment in the career when the actor should have put aside the children's roles and move on to something more mature. But instead, Muniz decided to take a break. After that, he did some occasional roles, but glory and fame were in the past. 
However, Muniz wasn't particularly upset because he has another hobby, driving racing cars. Oh yes, he's a real racer. In 2005, he was invited to drive a race car, and on April the 11th, 2006, he became a professional race driver. Nowadays, he's much more focused on cars than acting. Muniz is also a musician and a very talented person, so when would he have time for movies? But maybe you can't understand what it's like. In 2017, Muniz confessed that he doesn't remember his participation in the sitcom Malcolm in the Middle due to partial memory loss caused by several concussions and mini strokes. Chris Owen the actor, whose face we know from the comedies Major Pain and American Pie, also didn't commit to his acting talent and changed his profession, even though he started his career at the age of 10. He starred in about 50 movies and TV series, including Hit List, The Mentalist, and numerous American Pie movies. It was Chuck Sherman's role that earned him the fame, but the guy never became a Hollywood star. In 2014, an article in the New York Daily News reported that Owen was working as a waiter at a sushi restaurant in Santa Monica, California. In the article, the actor confessed, Life doesn't always go the way you planned. I love acting, and this job lets me stay in the fight. After the article was published, the actor was then featured featured in two other films. In addition, Owen can be seen in a couple of music videos. But of course, this is not a great acting career. The Olsen Sisters Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are two American actresses who began acting when they were six months old. Talk about young actors. Uh they debuted in the feature film It Takes Two and became very, very popular very quickly. But how popular? Well, until 2000, Mary Kate and Ashley had a fan club called Mary Kate and Ashley's Fan Club, where fans paid for all kinds of products and photos of Mary Kate and Ashley. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the sisters made many children's products popular. Their names helped sell not only movies and videos, but also clothing, shoes, purses, hats, books, CDs, and tapes fragrances and cosmetics, magazines, board games, dolls, and much more. The twins starred in many movies together and were known all over the world. As these sisters grew older, they became increasingly interested in the world of fashion. They even launched their own brands and benefited from their popularity. And they continued to make movies. However, in March 2012, Mary-Kate and Ashley officially announced their desire to quit their film career to focus on the fashion industry. By the way, when you hear about the Olsen sisters, you probably think of Mary Kate and Ashley. But there's another Olsen sister, Elizabeth. Yes, Wanda from the Avengers. She is the younger sister of the twins, and she also chose the career of actress and took it very seriously. Elizabeth studied acting for six years. Now you can see her in many movies, and she seems to enjoy it. Cameron Diaz Cameron Diaz became famous after starring in the film The Mask. This was back in 1994, and since then, the actress has appeared in many films. She's worked with other great actors and directors, has voiced animated characters, has been very popular, and has been nominated several times for the Golden Globes. But her last film was released in 2014, and now she has no films in production. That's because the actress decided she was tired of the constant stress and travel. She felt like she didn't understand who she was anymore. And to end with all this, she had to leave the set. Since then, she's married Benji Madden, the vocalist of Good Charlotte, and has published two books. Mara Wilson in the 90s, this charming girl with a funny fringe and a sweet face was a young star. You may have seen Mara Wilson in movies like Mrs. Doubtfire, Miracle on 34th Street, and Matilda, but soon the girl disappeared from the screens. That's because she turned out to be too atypical for Hollywood. I had good experiences there, but I always knew that there were girls much prettier than I was, and I knew that I was always competing with them, Mara said in a later interview. As I saw it, I had three choices, get cosmetic surgery and go out on audition for the cute and funny best friend characters, stay the way I was and go out for the meager character actor roles for young women, or accept myself and give up on the idea of a Hollywood film acting career for good. Today, Mara has become a successful author, writes plays, and has also published memoirs of her childhood as a movie star. Sometimes she participates in her friends' acting projects, but only for fun. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. 
You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now. You won't regret it.